Donna Tart opens up about personal life. We'll get married and have a husband someday? At the time when people share different happening of life via social media and remain in the limelight. But when one choose not to be in any of the social media platforms, then mystery surrounds one's life, and it is tough to conjecture what is happening in their life, until and unless they choose to reveal themselves. In one of a rare occasion, writer Donna Tartt shed light on her mysterious personal life and revealed some secrets. So what did she reveal? Well, let's find out. On October 22, 2013, on the occasion of the launch of her third book launch, during an interview with the Sydney Morning Herald, American writer Donna Tart shared about her personal life. Donna shared that she lives and writes in the company her dog, Luther on a farm in Virginia. Everything is improved by the presence of a dog. Expressing her love affair with clothes, Donna showed her love for vintage. Vintage is still my thing, but it is much harder to find, though I just bought a Japanese embroidered coat at a flea market. Responding to the question raised regarding her writing under the pseudonym, Donna said. My books take so long I don't think I could pull off the secrecy for such extended periods of time. My style and length would give me away. Moreover, Donna expressed the expectations from first-time writers in her statement which said, Donna. It's prurient curiosity. And now, if you are a first-time writer, they expect you to blog for free as part of your promotional duties, which is terrible. Giving insight relating to the process of writing, winner of Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 2014, the Goldfinch, Donna revealed that she had fantasized a bomb attack which changes the life of the character in her book forever, much before 9-11 attack occurred. The strange thing is, I started writing The Goldfinch before 9-11 happened. The first idea came to me from the blowing up of the Buddhas at Bamiyan. I was haunted and sickened by the destruction of something that had been at the heart of the world for centuries. Moreover, she added, when 9-11 happened, I was at the farm, but my mother thought I was in New York, 